I grew up watching the Apollo missions and was completely fascinated by it and inspired by it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. One of the things that we're doing with, with the All Day Celebration on July 20th is that I have a lot of hands-on activities for them to do. I want them to be inspired. I want them to start looking at the stars, looking at the moon, and saying, maybe I should go there. Maybe I should see it for myself. Maybe I could be a mission specialist. Maybe I could be an astronaut. What does it take to do that? And just to spark that inspiration of it's like, they did it, why not me? That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And the library is a great place to start that. We have books, we have CDs, we have internet connection, we've got models, and I've got a great staff that can help with answering questions and keeping that inspiration going. I found out working here that there is a local connection to the Apollo 11 mission and Jamesburg Earth Station, which is about 15 miles down the road from here, played a critical role in the mission and received the live broadcast from Apollo 11. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike, it really is. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. Everyone learns differently, and so I use a multi-sensory approach to, to when I'm teaching and trying to inform the public. So I'll have YouTube videos on the lunar landing. Uh, also, I have an activity for young ones about, you know, they look at a picture of the moon and they wonder, how did they get all those holes in it, the, the craters in it? And one of the activities they're going to have is a pie tin it's going to have a layer of flour in it, and then sp candy sprinkles, and then cocoa powder on top. And the python is going to be there. Then I'm going to give them marbles of different sizes, and I'm going to have them drop it into the python, and they're going to make their own craters. Maybe stand right here, and in, and sideways. There you go. Now look at it here. Yes. So see, and so speed, right? Distance and, and size all will make different craters. I have a lot of hands-on activities for them to do. Uh, STEM, which is a science, technology, engineering, mathematics. So it's more hands-on. You know, the, the scientific process, you know, of questioning and asking and designing experiments is an important skill, especially now, because the kids that are in elementary school now, the jobs that they're going to have haven't been created yet. And so critical thinking skills are going to be very important. Future engineers, mathematicians, you know, just to get that spark going in them. Who knows, the next, the next person that walks on Mars may be coming from here. <laughs>